Chapter 17 Eternalties and the Environment Private Property Rights The right of an owner to use or to exchange property. Private property rights are defined and enforced by government, by informal social actions, and by ethical norms. Resources Exhaustible resource A resource available in fixed supply, such as crude oil or copper ore. Renewable resource A resource that can regenerate itself and so can be used periodically for an indefinite length of time. Open access resource a type of resource that is difficult or costly to exclude individuals from using. Common pool problem. Unrestricted access to a resource results in overuse until the net marginal value of additional use drops to zero. Marginal social costs and benefits. Marginal social cost the sum of the marginal private cost and the marginal external cost of production or consumption. Marginal social benefit the sum of the marginal private benefit and the marginal external benefit of production or consumption. The figure shows negative externalties. Production technologies. Fixed production technology. Technology for which the relationship between output and the generation of an externality is affixed on, the only way to reduce the externality is to reduce the output. Variable technology. A technology whose externality can be reduced by altering the production process rather than simply by altering the rate of output. Figures show costs and benefits and the optimal level of air quality. Coe's theorem. The theory that if bargaining costs are small, an efficient solution to the problem of externalities will be achieved by assigning property rights. The efficient solution to an externality problem depends on which party can avoid the problem at the lower cost. If the government assigns property rights to one party or another, the two parties will agree on the efficient solution to an externality problem as long as transaction costs are low. This efficient solution will be achieved regardless of which party is assigned the property rights. The figure shows optimal allocation of pollution rights. The figure shows positive externalties. Pollution in the United States Air pollution The Clean Air Act of 1970 set national standards for the amount of pollution that could be emitted into the atmosphere. Hazardous Waste and the Superfund the Comprehensive Environmental Response, Compensation, and Liability Act of 1980 requires any company that generates, stores, or transports hazardous waste to pay to clean up any wastes that are improperly disposed of. Solid Waste Advanced economies produce and buy more, so there is more to dispose. The opportunity cost of time is higher, so there is a tendency to discard items rather than repair or recycle them. This has led to the development of recycling programs wherein waste products are turned into reusable material.